we have installed a garage radiator, which is three-phase. Yeah, do you know why it's three-phase? Ah, it's three-phase, I think, because we've got a phase for each element. Is it? What we wanted to do now is to be able to control it with a KNX. Yeah, in order to do that, we um, added one relay. The reason we added a relay is because basically the load uh, for the, uh, the radiator is, would be a little bit too big for the actuators. And uh, that, that would be one reason. The other reason that I was discussing with my boss yesterday is because basically we got three phase and the uh, actuators are made for single phase. And if we were to put uh, each one of the, space, the phases on the actuator, we'll have to use three channels for the actuator, which wouldn't be practical at all. So that's why we added, that's another reason for adding a relay, where basically we're using one single channel for the uh, relay input or output. I've disconnected the, um, the circuit uh, from the breaker, and we're gonna add uh, three legs to uh, <coughs> the relay and then the circuits themselves they're gonna go on the other side of the relay so yeah, that's what I'm doing now I've created three legs here connected the uh, the relay added these three legs from from the breaker to the relay <coughs> and from the other side of the relay goes uh, you know the actual circuit to the uh, garage heater and the contact that we're using for switching on and off the relay goes down there down to the actuator and it's connected to channel 5 of the actuator and we can actually check if it works manually check if it works so we're gonna switch the actuator on and off the channel yeah we can heal the clip on the other side on and off there you go magic so um, <clears throat> what um, what basically the an, an, uh, KNX power actuator does is is like a switch. You, you can think about it as a switch uh, that can be controlled remotely uh, from um, a phone app or from an actual switch or multiple switches in the house. And basically, this actuator is or is a switch that has uh, multiple channels, multiple switches. In this case, we've got how many? Eight switches. And you can use either one of these channels to control different um, appliances inside a house or inside or outside as well. Yeah? In this case, we use channel five because uh, the other ones were taken. So we've got one channel left, actually two channels. We have channel six left as well, but we use channel five. With that, we'll be, we'll be able to control the, uh, the heater to switch it on and off. Uh, we can create time, a timer for that. We can control, yeah, right? So we, let's say we want it, we can program it, program it to um, uh, switch on and off uh, in on different, different time of the day or different days of the week. So uh, that's, the <coughs> that's the radiator we're talking about. Um, you can see from the app that we can switch it on and off. That will be on, and that will be off. Obviously, this is the uh, simplest function. Right now, we can program it to um, switch on from different times of the day or different time, different days of the week, or in cases like, like for example, what Lucas when. Yeah, can, can you have it like when the door opens to switch it off? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you can program it to switch off when the, the garage door opens, for example. Because that would be a waste of energy to have it on. So that's, that's programmable, that's doable over KNX.